Matched pairs. What is it? If you were thinking it involves setting fruit on fire, well, you're wrong. You're very wrong. Match pairs is a broad term encompassing many designs that honestly lack a catchy name. It is a form of blocking because our goal is to create treatment groups that have very similar units or subjects. And the test we will later learn to run on the data will be a paired t-test. We may even have identical units such as the crossover experiment of gasolines for which we ended up with the same 90 cars in each gas treatment. I refer to the gas type design as crossover, while others call it by other names, including a form of matching on themselves. So don't get hung up on semantics and what we should call it. It's better if we simply strive to create the most powerful experiment possible. And this typically happens when we reduce variance by making the treatment groups as similar as we can. Sometimes in the world of psychology or medicine, it's been possible to utilize twins. We match these two or pair these two in their own block. Then one twin is randomly selected to get one treatment while the other gets the remaining treatment. In the cholesterol experiment we ran in the other video, we paired the two females with the highest cholesterol and we also matched the pairs of men with the highest cholesterol levels. The best matched pairs design is when the same unit can be assigned the treatments simultaneously. Here's an example. Which stain will last longest on a wooden deck? If we only use one stain per deck, we expose our experiment to many lurking variables since different decks have and will experience different conditions. The amount of sun, shade, moisture, the integrity or type of the wood. Instead, we can use the best form of a matched pairs design. Suppose we have 16 decks available to test the stain. We can pair two halves of the same deck and then randomly select one half to get one stain and the other half to get the other stain. We can examine the stains initially and then monitor them over time, comparing the results. In this way, both units, the same deck, go through the exact same weather patterns simultaneously. This eliminates or reduces many potential lurking variables. Keep this design in mind. Whenever possible, try to use the same unit for both treatments.